oxidation reduction reactions. These are often called redox reactions because oxidation reduction is a lot of letters and syllables. Um, redox always makes me think of red box. It makes me want to go watch a movie, but it's, it's red box without the B. Not as fun. Redox reactions are all over the place. They are responsible for things like iron rusting. Um, if you bleach your hair, that's a redox reaction. Anything using a battery is a redox reaction. I think we've all got batteries in our pockets, right, called cell phones. Um, so redox reactions are really useful. Um, what makes a redox reaction a redox reaction is that we have the transfer of electrons from one thing to another. Many of these reactions involve something reacting with oxygen, but that's not absolutely necessary. So here's some examples of redox reactions. Here we have hydrogen and oxygen gases combining to form water. That's the reaction that powers the space shuttle. Iron reacting with oxygen to form iron 3 oxide. This is rusting of iron. Um, methane reacting with oxygen. This is the combustion of natural gas. You have a gas stove at home, you turn it on, use a Bunsen burner in the lab, this is what's going on. So here's, this is reacting with oxygen. All of these are reacting with oxygen. This one does not involve oxygen. Here we have uh, sodium and chlorine reacting to form sodium chloride. So not all of them involve oxygen. So the fundamental definition of oxidation is that it is the loss of electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. And the way to remember this is um, by this mnemonic, oil rig. Oil, oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction is gain of electrons. This is another in a long series of things where you've got two things, oxidation and reduction, and another two things, gain and loss, and you have to remember how to mix, how to match them up, right? When I identify oxidation reduction, I still say oil rig in my head because it's so confusing. Oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain of electrons. Oxidation and reduction have to occur together. Those electrons have to come from something, so something has to lose them, and they have to go to something. You can't have just a jar of electrons. It's not possible. You can have electrons moving from one thing to another, but you can't just have electrons. So they always go together. So what you need to be able to do at this point is just to identify, yes, that's a redox reaction. So redox reactions are things where we have a substance reacting with elemental oxygen. Anything plus O2, oxidation react, reduction reaction. If you have a metal reacting with a nonmetal, like sodium and chlorine. Um, more generally, it's when you have one substance transferring electrons to another substance. So let's, let's practice that. Which of these are redox reactions? Well, this first one, we have lithium and chlorine. chlorine. This is a metal reacting with a nonmetal. That's an oxidation reduction reaction. Metal reacting with nonmetal. Here we have aluminum and tin ion, and it's forming aluminum ion and tin metal. How did the aluminum go from having no charge to having a plus three charge? It lost electrons, right? It lost electrons. The tin went from plus two to zero by losing electrons. I'm sorry, gaining electrons. Yeah, it is confusing. So electrons were transferred. This is a redox reaction. How about this one? Here we have lead nitrate and lithium chloride, and they're forming uh, lead 2 chloride and lithium nitrate. Is it something reacting with elemental oxygen? No. Is it a metal reacting with a nonmetal? No. 
Is there anything that suggests that electrons are being transferred? No. This, what kind of a reaction is this? It's a precipitation reaction. We have two aqueous solutions and we're forming a solid. It's a reaction, but it's not a redox reaction. How about this one? Carbon plus oxygen forming CO2. Yeah, we have something reacting with O2. That's a redox reaction. Any questions? A redox reaction. It is a combustion reaction, yes. Combustion reactions are a subcategory of redox reactions. Any other questions? This would not be considered a gas evolution reaction. Um, I think mainly because it, it started with a gas. There was gas involved in the beginning. Um, the gas evolution is when you have aqueous solutions that you're mixing and that forms a gas. So combustion reactions, these are a type, a subcategory of, of, combustion is a subcategory of redox reactions. So we have a substance combining with oxygen. Um, combustion reactions are exothermic. So combustion is burning. The engine in most of our cars are, are considered internal combustion engines because they involve the combustion, the burning of gasoline inside the engine. When you burn gas, it generates heat. Think about your gas stove. Think about the Bunsen burner. That's a combustion, it generates heat. The, the compounds um, if, if the compound that you're burning contains just carbon and hydrogen or carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, it's always going to same the, form the same two products, carbon dioxide and water. I'm not going to ask you to predict the products of any other combustion reactions. So examples here. The ethanol in alcoholic beverages is C2H5OH. That will burn, and when it reacts with oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide and water. Gasoline, one of the main components of gasoline is octane, which is CHH18, just carbon and hydrogen. That reacts with oxygen, forms carbon dioxide and water. So these reactions, you can predict the ones that I'm going to ask you about. It will be something that contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and if I say it's burning or combusting, the other reactant is oxygen. The products are always the same, carbon dioxide and water, and then you have to balance it. Some of these can be a little messy to balance. Let's do one. Write a balance equation for the combustion of liquid pentane, the component of gasoline. So here's the formula. So you need that formula and you need the word combustion. So we've got C5H12. What's the state of that? It's a liquid. Combustion means reacting with what? Oxygen. Oxygen is a diatomic element, it's O2. What's the state? A gas. What products are formed? Water and carbon dioxide, H2O and CO2. So the state, well, carbon dioxide, we know that's a gas even at room temperature. But for the water, okay, so this is a combustion reaction. It generates heat. This is going to be hot. So the water's going to be a gas, not a liquid. I'm not going to try to trick you on that or anything, but um, give it a shot. So there we have an unbalanced chemical reaction. Combustion reactions like this one are ones that you might want to use that tally method for because they get a little funky. Let's try this one just 
looking at it, see, if, see how we do. So C5, five carbons, and over here I need five carbons. So I'll put a five in front of CO2. So far, so good. I did not do a very good job of writing my 12. This is C5H12. There's a, well, let's just start over on that one. H12. Because that's what it says up here. So C5H12. So that's 12 hydrogens. So over here I have two. Well, if I put a six in front, then I'm okay, right? Oh, I wanted to use uh, blue. Okay. And then we, we need to take care of the oxygens. So here's O2. And over here I have six oxygens. And here I have two times five, ten. Okay, so I've got six oxygens here and ten. So I've got a total of sixteen. Well, that's convenient. That's an even number. So if I put an 8 here, it'll be balanced. Any questions?